Hey guys, this is Charles, aka the God of SEO here, and today I'm going to go over Link Emperor. Now, I did do a Link Emperor campaign and a Link Emperor tutorial previously, but the sound quality wasn't that great, and there's a few mistakes that I made, and also I didn't show the full potential of Link Emperor. So I thought I'd do a brand new campaign on a brand new account, and let's begin. So the first thing you're going to see when you log into Link Emperor is this. It's the campaigns hub, and we're going to click a new campaign. I'm going to name this new campaign God of SEO. It's going to be United States English. We can also select the United Kingdom, but for this one, my site's an international site, so I'm going to go with United States English. You can then decide the category, which my category is business and industrial, going into um, business management, advertising and marketing, internet marketing, search engine marketing, and then search engine optimization. My default click is 1.2, which is $1.20, which would be the default click in AdWords. And then you can let Link Emperor calculate priorities. And then I'm going to, um, I can also do, don't build any links, but I'm just going to do uh, let Link Emperor calculate the priorities of each of the keywords. And you can check weekly, monthly, or daily on your keyword rankings. Um, I'm going to do it daily. Uh, so I'm going to do it weekly because it's included in my campaign. Um, and then you can add up to 25 URLs for your analytics. I'm going to go with 10 per URL for this. And then I'm just going to click Add Campaign. So my campaign's here and it's ready to go. I'm going to go into my campaign and the first thing you'll see is four tabs. The only three tabs that we're going to look at is Targets, Sites and Articles. I'm going to add my first target which is my actual website. Go to SEO.co. I'm going to put in the uh, dollar value visit of $1.20. I'm then going to put in the keywords, SEM blog, SEO blog, internet marketing blog, online marketing blog, and search marketing blog. I'm then going to click add. And my campaigns here. I'm then going to go generate articles. And I'm going to go to use articlebuilder.net to generate a unique article. You get five per day. And I'm going to go to search engine optimization. I'm going to have five, and I'm going to have 700 in the words. This is then added here. You can also manually add articles with up to 60,000. And it has to be spin tax. You can add um, spin tax here with up to 60,000 characters. But for the time being, we have these articles down here that are ready to go. I'm then going to go to sites, which is the other tab here, and you can add a site, and it will basically pull all the information from the RSS feed, enter the domain here, and then you can also link in your analytics, and it can check the site map as well. So now that this is ready to go, we're going to go here, and we're going to go run selected. So that's the now running, and we're going to go to link building, and then we're going to go to custom, and that will display this. This is the amount of links built on depending on your situations. So on the first tier, I tend to have mostly contextual backlinks. So I go for article submissions, a few blog comments to add the um, tier ones, a bit more diversity. Have some press releases, some private net posts, though I don't put them that big on tier one. Um, public web 2.0 posts, I have them full. Um, no social bookmarking, some video creation, some web 2.0 properties at full, and some wiki submissions around halfway. Now for the actual uh, tiered stuff, so the tier 2 and tier 3. I'm going to put wikis to the middle. I'm going to put web to the bottom, videos to the bottom, social marketing to the bottom, public web to post here, and then private network posts to the top of this because private network, network posts are the most important part of your link building campaign on that. And then I'm going to put these down here, put press releases down to the bottom, partial submissions down to the bottom, miss platforms down to around here. And that's pretty much the perfect setup, and we have 19 posts here, so 24 on that 185, and this will be the tiered stuff here. So we're in quite a good number of backlinks, and in fact I'm going to put the article submissions down a bit on that. Put them around there. In fact I can put them that down, and that down to about there. So now that's set up, we just have to go to this bit, and you can have additional options, so you can use more buffers and blast each one less. Use fewer buffers, and I'm going to use fewer, and have it mainly here and then you can uh, blast links anywhere don't blast links to adult slash objectional sites I don't like on any adult sites blast my target and keywords together or limit to one target per keyword per blast 
I always do it together because I want to make sure across that. And then I can put the uh, priorities myself or handle them for me. I always go handle them for me because it's a bit easier. And that will say the link building design and you'll get a pop message saying your link building service allocations have been successfully changed. Now that's done, we're going to go to Anctext randomization settings. This should be how much is totally random. Um, totally random is just like random uh, generic keywords. 40% um, to your actual keywords um, and then to your keyword with random prefix slash suffixes. So for example, if I wanted to do how to, um, how to build an SEO blog, and then I could do that for the random prefixes. Um, and then put, I tend to mainly go for about 50% um, of this. So that keyword, and then uh, put them around here. So that's pretty good, 50% of the main keyword. 10% to the, your keyword with the random prefix and stuff, six, and 40% to something random. Then we'll press save. And it will come up with a message again, so then it's been successfully updated. Just press OK. And that's pretty much all set up. Now that that's set up, we can order a one-time blast. And I can't order one-time blast at the moment because this is a fresh account. But we have our rank tracked in here, which will display all the rankings every um, day or week. And our campaign is now running. So we have our keyword list here. And you can see the search volume. And you can see the on-page score. We also have SEO trouble spots, so we can uh, have a look at the things, for example, the missing keywords. And the more keywords you add, the tend to be more mistakes it has. We can also add more articles by generating them, add them manually, or even bulk upload them. You can also use auto generation settings. Do you wish to let Link Emperor generate articles to use for your uh, blast? And I click yes and save the settings. The research tab is a pretty cool thing, which you can build a report around all your link building, and you can white label it and send it to a client. The link building tab itself means you can actually go to service out, opt out. So, for example, if you don't like a specific vendor, you can um, click him and make sure you don't have that vendor uh, used. Or you can have a specific blast that you don't like removed as well. You can also have your tier targets here, which are all the um, tier targets. For example, if you had, if you'd built some manual tier twos or some manual tier threes, you can add the URLs here, and it'll add it to all the um, things here as well. We'll see your credit transactions, which is a big list of your transactions spent on that day. And finally, you get your account tab. And you can add uh, external accounts. So I'm going to add in my Google Analytics account by linking the account, putting in the email address, authorizing it with Google, and granting me access. And you can add your Click here account, you can add your uh, Link Listers account to get links indexed quicker, you can add your Lindex account, you can add a load of accounts. Um, to this and then you can have custom branded client logins if you have a bigger account so if you want to do all your link building within Link Emperor you can just use this if you do want to however do all your link building with Link Emperor I suggest you do Web 2.0's as tier 1 um, along with a few articles and a few press releases and then do private network posts tier 2 that tends to be the strongest form of link building in this you can also sign up for the affiliate program by going to your account and the affiliate program tab Thanks for watching this tutorial guys, hope you enjoyed it, this has been Charles aka The God of SEO, peace.